Hi, Jabe and Light. <laughs> so I'm just going to put the yeast and drum. I'm waiting for people to arrive. It's been a mad day again. It's been a mad day. Uh, so we're going to ground. We'll be grounding. Uh, so this evening we're going to um, we're going to invoke, invoke, not evoke, Ariane. Which is a, a bit of a thread from the dark moon work that we did. Um, so we're going to ground first. Uh, we'll cast the circle, and I'm not going to walk the circle this evening. Um, we'll call the elements, and then I have words uh, for the earth element, um, and then. <laughs> I love the words. And then we invoke Arian Rod. Um, same again, light the candle. A few more words. Uh, you will need um, a piece of paper to write down your intention on for you set it for the next two or three months. Yeah, unless you want to set it for longer. Because what we're going to do, because we're tapping into, we're tapping into earth, but also water. Water is a very powerful tool for witches. Um, so the idea is, because uh, there was a dot moon one where we place the ashes in running water. So we're going to do a similar thing here. So we're not going to burn the paper this evening. What we're going to do is we're going to tear it up. So make sure it's paper that will dissolve in water. Yeah. Um, we're going to tear it up and we're going to um, put it in the water. We're going to scrape it in water. So obviously it does need to be water that will dissolve quickly. Uh, paper that will dissolve quickly even. Yeah. Um, so I've got a Once we've done all the words, invoked Ariane Rod, invoked the Earth Elements, um, we'll write down our intention and place it on the altar. And then after we've devoked and closed, you can tear that up, put it in a container, and then dispose of it as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, what I think we'll do after that, we'll do some chanting, maybe some drum. Um, I will also go and grab a bowl, singing bowl, okay? So bear with me while I go and grab a singing bowl and my bit of paper. So I haven't disappeared. <laughs> I've just gone to get something. <laughs> so pen, pen, pen smurf, smurf's down there. Oh, let me find my piece of paper. Piece of paper. 
There we go, there's the last piece. Fantastic. All right, I'm just going to go and get a singing bowl. Bear with. So I have my singing bowl. Just put my drum over there, Smurf. Is that all right with you, Dogger? <laughs> ah, he's a good boy. You're gonna have to move in a minute, you know. Oh, so let me that over. Who have we got? Who have we got? Hey Mandy, how are you? Good to see you. Is Gary there? Oh, yeah, that was the other bit I was going to say. Um, in the words, when we invoke the earth element and Ariane rod, I have uh, words uh, about the offerings that I'm offering. Not to see what offerings are doing. Um, so, obviously, depending on what you are offering, you can change those words, yeah? So when I say those words, you change them for what you are offering. Um, also, if you prefer to invoke your own lunar deity that's cool um but the earth element because earth obviously oh so yeah so that's all right <laughs> bit of free time I like that i hope you can hear that oh, we like this bowl it's good to see you though mandy <laughs> so i'm going to give it a couple more minutes um, because I can't read the laptop from over there. It's way too small. So I want to give it a little few minutes. Um, let people arrive. So I'm using the bowl. Uh, I did a little bit of drum, but I'm using the bowl now. Because obviously this uh, corresponds to water. Lovely. Yay! <laughs> it's like the old gang back again. <laughs> Very cool. I um, might even at the end uh, pull a card or two. We'll see. I've got my um, my Lewinian tarot over there, the Celtic ones. So. Hmm, there might be a card as well. That'd be cool. Is that Wendy? Is that you, Wendy? Are you here? Whee! Yay! Fantastic. The old gang's back. <laughs> I don't mean old as in old. I mean old as in, you know, like from before. <laughs> I hope you can hear that bowl. Uh, that, the resonance of that bowl is amazing. I've got my eye on another one. <laughs> we'll have to buy this one though. Because um, this this and the um, other two slightly smaller ones are on permanent loan from my friend Philip. Um, but I've got my eye on one that is going to be nearly twice as heavy as this. Ah, I don't know how I'm going to pick that one up. <laughs> Oh, we get it. Oh my god, that's gonna be funny. That is sounds good for time. Okay, we oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I've got somewhere, I've got a um, I think it's in my drawer actually, in my desk. Um, I've got a, a little gadget that actually measures what um, note uh, things you know, instruments play. So I will find out. Let me get. A second, I'll find out what note. Oh, that's really heavy now. Oh my god, I have to put that down. 
Let's make my arm ache. One more. One more for that. One more for the moon. Hi, Michelle. Okay. So I think we're going to get started because it's six minutes past. So for any of you that are arriving after now, sorry, I can't see your names. <laughs> I can't see you all the way over there. All right, Smurf, you're going to have to move, darling. Come on. Beep, beep. Good boy. Why don't you go and sit on the cushions? Like, I put the cushions there for you. I don't want to sit on the cushions, mummy. You're so fussy. Well, sit down there then. Just lay down. Lay down. No, not on my lap. Lay down. <laughs> lay down. Lay down. Well, don't lay down then. He's very good at not doing, you know, like if I say, don't lay down. He doesn't lay down. It's fantastic. Uh, right, okay. So, whoops, that's a bit close to my knee. Let me just move that. Uh, drink of water. Whew, take a breath. <laughs> so, how is everyone this evening? Is everyone good? I hope you're all good. I hope you've been looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to doing this actually. <laughs> like I say, it's a bit different to what I originally had in my plan. Um, but I think, you know, continuing the work that we did on the Dark Moon, I think is, is fantastic. Um, and then bringing in that, um, oh, nutters out there in their cars, uh, bringing in the energy of Ariane Rod as well is, makes it, I think the two go really well together because she weaves through space and time and she, she has that perspective from where she is up in Care Ariandrod. So bringing in the you know, abundance, stability and la 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 and stillness, that's the other word I'm using in my words, um, of the earth element, I think are fantastic. I think they go really nicely together. So we'll see what happens when we invoke them both. Oh my God, could be quite interesting. Okay, so I ran quickly through what we're doing. Oh, the other thing I need you to do, um, obviously not, don't keep it in your mind's eye all the way through, but just be aware of what you're gonna write on your piece of paper, your intention. So for any of you that are doing any of the blueprint work or uh, the advanced witchcraft stuff. Um, just keep that in your mind, yeah? So if you are setting the intention for two or three months, then keep that keep that in your, like, as a, like, a, like a mist, if you like, <laughs> a mist in your mind. Um, so you don't need to really focus on it, but just keep it in there in the background, yeah, as we, um, as we do this, but especially when you're writing it on the paper as well. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay, so we are going to ground, first of all. Uh, by the way, if you want to walk the circle, I'm not going to walk it this evening, um, but if you want to walk the circle, feel free to, okay, when we do that. Um, but we're going to ground to start with, so if you have a drum, pardon me, then grab your drum. I hope you can hear that. <laughs> hope it's loud enough.
so don't forget you might begin to feel your body swaying or moving in circles so you can let it do that that's a really good sign that you are getting grounded So if it helps, you can imagine either red swirling energy at the base of your spine or imagine roots moving down into the earth from the base of your spine. And your bottom will start to feel heavy. That's when you know. You feel like a weeble. <laughs> if you don't know what a weeble is, then you're too young. So we're slowly going to bring it back to center. Smurfy's grounded. <laughs> He's completely gone. <laughs> so just take a couple of breaths <clears throat> in this amazing grounding place. So we're going to cast a circle so you can either copy my words or you can use your own and walk the circle if you want to okay so if you're walking the circle start east go east south west north back to east again okay <clears throat> so if you're sitting to cast a circle i want you to imagine it's also almost like a, the way i see it it's like a lasso so it's almost like we're we're casting it uh, like you would lasso something yeah so we're, we're chucking that energy chucking that energy <laughs> around in our circle yeah so the words are circle cast circle conjure circle cast circle conjure circle cast circle conjure 
circle cast, circle conjure, 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 circle cast, circle conjure. Circle cast, circle conjure, 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 circle cast. Circle conjure, circle cast, circle conjure. Just take three deep breaths there. Can you feel that? That is, it's still spinning. That energy is still spinning. And I think it's going to keep spinning until we finish. Until, until we devoke and close, that energy will keep spinning. It's like a pillar. Wow. And my hands, even though I wasn't using my hands to cast that circle, my hands are tingling. But then I'm using that mudra, that magical mudra. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to face uh the directions when i call the elements but you can again if you want to yeah so again you can uh use my words so i will leave a gap so it's call and response if you like yeah or you can use your own words for calling the elements it's entirely up to you okay I call on you, elemental air. Watchtower of the East. I invite you to join me in my circle. Lend me your energy, should I so need. Hail and welcome. Elemental fire. I call on you. Watchtower of the South. Lend me your energy, should I so need. Hail and welcome. Elemental water, I call on you. Watchtower of the West. Lend me your energy, should I so need. Hail and welcome. Elemental Earth, I call on you. 
Watchtower of the North. Lend me your energy, should I so need. Hail and welcome. So while I, while we invoke Elemental Earth, I'm just going to, um, just a, a light drum, yeah? Hold it properly. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me, lend me your energy. Fill me with abundance and stillness and stability. To bring my soul's desire to me. Accept these offerings of stone and twig and leaf and seed. From me to you, ah. This candle I light, so you may show me the ways of abundance, of stillness, of stability, so mote it be. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. 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 
Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Elemental Earth, come forth, come to me. Just take a few Queen of the Heavens, Ariane Rod, Mistress of the Wheel. Weaver of space through fate, Weaver of fate through space and time. Come to me. Come forth to me. Lend me your energy. Fill me with the wisdom of right time. The gaze from the heavens. To see the whole and the pieces. To see the gaps to weave among. To bring my soul's desire to me. Accept these offerings of stone and herbs and flowers from me. From me to you, Ariane Rod. This candle I light so you may show me the ways of the weaver the ways of the seer from the stars
so mote it be. So remember that intention. We're going to write it down on our piece of paper. Make sure you sign it as well. Um, and that can be with your um, with your witch name or with your actual name. It's entirely up to you. I usually do both. Just for an extra bit of oomph. So place that on your altar, I'm going to place it in between the offerings. <clears throat> so when, we're, when we finish the ritual, um, you tear it out, put it in a container, and then tomorrow, at your earliest possible chance, you want to um, make sure it's in small pieces, yeah? And then we can, we can put it in flowing water, so it takes it away to a bigger body of water, yeah, um, very powerful, okay, <sighs> so I'm going to use a singing bowl, shit, that's the wrong tone, that's the wrong tone, There, you might be able to hear it. <coughs> so we're going to do a chant. Uh, we're going to do two chants actually. Uh, one is for uh, corresponding to the moon, to water, and the other one is an earth chant. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I'm just writing something down. I just got a download. <laughs> oh, and my pen's run out. <laughs> okay, I've got a different earth chart. There we go. There you go. That's a download for you. Just give me another chart. Okay. So the first chant is very simple. The words are born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Okay. I don't know if I can get that note. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. 
Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Born of water, cleansing, powerful, healing, changing, I am. Smurf, no, no, Doggy. So take a few breaths. No, you're not getting on with that. Lay down, lay down, do as you're told. So the chant for Earth, the element Earth, um, is a Gurumiki chant um, that they use in Kundalini Yoga. And it goes like this. Hummy hum, bram hum. Hummy hum, bram hum. Hummy hum, bram hum. Hummy hum, bram hum. So it's really easy, yeah? <laughs> Actually, I'll start the chant first. <coughs> hummy hum, bram hum, 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 hummy hum, bram hum. 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 Hummy hum. Bram hum, hummy hum, 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 bram hum. Ami 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 hum, bram hum. Hummy 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 hum, bram hum. 
Ami ham bram ham, 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 ami ham bram ham. Ami ham bram ham, 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 ami ham bram ham. Ami ham bram ham, 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 ami ham bram ham. Hami ham bram ham. Take a few breaths. Yeah, let's do it. I'm getting on my lap. Don't let me lay down. Breathe. No, no, please come back. No, go and lay down. Go on, lay down. Lay down. Can you feel that energy? It is quite, quite amazing. Oh, we can talk about that afterwards because ooh, it's really nice. Anyway, right. So gonna debug and close and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna come over there and uh, we can share stuff okay <sighs> Ariane Narod we thank you for joining us in our circle. We thank you for lending us your energy, mistress of the moon. Stay if you will, go if you must, we bid you hail and farewell. Elemental Earth, we thank you for joining us in our circle and for lending us your energy on this eve. Return thee to the Watchtower of the North. We bid you hail and farewell. Elementals, air, fire, water, earth. 
we thank you for watching over us on this eve. Leave from us here, return to thy sphere, we bid you hail and farewell. May the circle be open but unbroken. May the God and the Goddess be ever in your heart. Merry meet, and merry part, and merry meet again. I haven't got Ian here to do a little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and here comes the dog again. <laughs> You're nuts, you are, dog. <laughs> Doesn't know what to make of the bell. It's a bell. Yes, it's a bell. Right, and I'm going to come over there. And we're going to have a little chat. I'm going to bring the bowl as well. Oh, that was quite amazing, actually. I don't know about you guys. What did you think? Whoops. Mine the crystals out. Let me just spin this around. The mic, otherwise you won't hear me. See? Ooh, that's the mic. Isn't it cool? Uh, let me just lower it a little bit. And go. Thank you. Pew, pew. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Michelle. So I'm just reading the comments I've already got. Hi, Elaine. Yay. Hi, Connie. Hi, Michelle Watson. Oh, my God. Hi, Alexa. Oh, my God. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, simple chants are, you know, equally as amazing. Because I was going to do a really complicated one, but then it, it just plopped in my head, that one. So it's like, okay, I'll do that then. <laughs> I'm not going to argue when I get a download. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> so, people, what did you get? What did you get? What did you experience? You know I'm nosy, so I want to know what you got. What did you got? What did you got? What did you got? Yay, fantastic. How did you find bringing both of those? Because I'm really getting into this thing now of bringing more than one energy, like in invoking, not evoking, yeah. So you're bringing them into your body, yeah, into your being, yeah. Um, how did you find that, witches? Um, I want to know because... Yeah, I suppose you could call it an advanced practice. Um, but, you know, it's a choice. So if you didn't want to do it, then you would just call in one or the other. Um, but the, the, I suppose the only thing that I believe is that you have to know yourself very well um, before, you know, bringing, well, invoking anything into you, to be honest, whether that's a deity, uh, an element, an elemental, or fae, you know, whatever it is, you know, if you're invoking, invoking something into your being, you need to know yourself, yeah? Yeah, do you know what? At one point it felt like my feet were not not on fire, like really unpleasant, but it, that, that warmth, it was when we were um, the um, in the earth bit. I'm going to have to put this on my leg, it's too heavy. Um when we yeah it was definitely in the earth thing there was like a, a a quite an intense warmth that went from my feet so it started at my feet and went up the body i don't know if any of you got that oh fantastic thank you elaine oh, i'm honored that is so cool oh wow Thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, oh, wow. Freezing chill around my feet and legs when we lit the first candle and then the candle flames flickered violently for the rest of the ritual. 
Oh, wow. You get that a lot, though, don't you, Mandy? You get a lot of, see, I, I'd, I'd suggest that candle magic is your, your, yeah, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> so so mandy work with candles whenever whenever you're doing magic definitely use uh you know use candle magic in its fullest potential yeah not just light a couple of candles really you know chuck everything at it i would um it's obviously it resonates with you obviously so mandy i would i would ask you are you a fire sign is there any fire stuff in your chart um because I, I, um, I've had some candles. Stuff. Please excuse the stupid alarm outside. Bloody car or something going off outside. Um, uh, so I, I have, I have fire, water, and air in my chart, in my ast astrological chart. That is. Um, so I'm not naturally grounded. Oh. Um, but I do like to work with I like to work with all of those actually. And the one I the one I am connecting a lot with now because it was missing for me was Earth, which is why we're doing a lot of earth work at the moment. <laughs> so if you are naturally grounded, you might find that you're even more grounded than usual. Um just the awesome zigging energy. Yes. It was very zingy, wasn't it? My my feet even now are still they still feel really 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 hot like they've been in a hot bath and they are tingling so yeah definitely a zingy tingly energy going on with that definitely definitely ah there you go mandy so yeah definitely work your fire magic my dear uh have you ever done any uh what's the thing called where you throw fire about <laughs> oh god that sounds really silly doesn't it um it's done on sticks and things it's like um i can't remember what they call that have you ever done anything like that that might be a really cool way to get your fire magic in as well uh, i need to watch it again and start from the beginning that's fine alexa that's fine it'll be here it'll be uh up in the group it'll also be i will post it um on youtube and it'll also be on pinterest and it will also be in uh well i'll post it in curious novice anna the advanced witchcraft um so all of that will probably be up by tomorrow by midday tomorrow ish okay um but yeah it'll be up in the group straight away so you can watch it from this group straight away i'll also post it up in our new social media platform for witches i'll post it up there as well <laughs> i've got to remember to do that i keep forgetting i don't know about you guys i keep forgetting it's there unless i'm working on it so I, I keep it open all the time now because so it reminds me. Um, Not from the beginning. Earth, water, and fire. Oh wow! It it's four four times as hot. Yeah, you need more air. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, Wendy. So for air. Well, you were you were doing stuff with air the other day. You were burning essential oils, so that's that's perfect for air connection. Um, using your voice, so um, singing. I'll tell you what does connect you to air, Wendy. Your readings, your tarot readings, because that's all about um, using your intuition, which is very much an air thing to do. So maybe do that more. Get get paid for it, and then you really be working your air element, my dear. <laughs> juggling, uh, not it's not juggling. It's it's like they they have a long stick and they have things soaked in paraffin, I think, on each end. Um, because we we did a um, a Halloween camp years and years ago, and there was a woman there with her daughter, and she could do that. She was doing that. She was spinning it on on the the long stick with the things on the end, and then there was also um, two on chains that she was waving around. I'm like, whoa! Because <laughs> as much as I love fire, I am very wary of it as well. Um, <laughs> I can't remember. It's called something. I know it's called something, and I can't for the life of me remember what it's called. If I remember to Google it, I'll post it up because it is amazing. That kind of working with fire is incredible, um, and it's yeah. I'm in awe of those people that can do that. 
Um, do, do, do. Yeah, um, and if if you the other thing you could do, Wendy, is tap that air element for the for dawn. Um, when you get into the middle of summer, it's a bit like oh god, four o'clock in the morning. Seriously, but <laughs> while the sun's kind of rising at like half six, six, six o'clock, half six, yeah, that's that's perfect for kind of tapping that energy as well. So burning your essential oils because I I like to read first thing in the morning when I get up, I get my coffee, I sit down. And I read for an hour, maybe two sometimes, if I'm really lucky and I'm not disturbed. <laughs> not disturbed? What are you talking about? <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's a really good way to harness that. And also, um, our air incense is, <laughs> is bonkers, actually. Little story for you. The first time... I ever made that air incense and I tweaked a recipe, uh, I tweaked one of Scott Cunningham's recipes and we had to go into town that day and we needed to get go in and get out quick because we needed to be home for something, I can't remember what it was now. And so I, bur I burnt some air incense in the morning at dawn and didn't think anything more of it. We went into town and seriously, what should have taken no more than an hour, I think we were in the town for four hours because everybody that we saw that we knew wanted to talk to us. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, not another one. <laughs> but it, and it wasn't just like 10 minutes. They had stuff that they needed to say. And I'm like, Ian, you know what's happened here, don't you? <laughs> I burned that bloody incense and look what it's done. Damn it. <laughs> So bur obviously burning air uh, incense is amazing as well. Fire eaters. It is, but it's not just fire eating. It's the twiddling on chains and, and sticks and things. There are, there are places you can learn it. Um, I can't remember for the life of me what that is. It has a name. Um, can't remember it's not juggling it's not fire eating it's where they've got like a long stick and they've got things on the end they they i don't know if Cirque du Soleil use them i don't know i've seen them like i sort of saying um this this lady that we uh, went to this halloween camp with she was doing it there it's like wow but we've also seen um years ago we went to a festival and they had like it was a big show where they were you know working with fire and stuff it's amazing um fire dancers twirling yeah it's it's it's, a, it's like like being a majorette but your stick's on fire basically <laughs> they do that stuff it's it's quite incredible um yeah okay so did I, i'm i'm curious what did anyone else get did anyone else um how did the merging of those energies feel for you? I thought it was um, it was really nice to be really grounded, but at the same time there was this like an abundance of energy. That's what it was. It was this this like wasn't a wave, like a waterfall, I suppose, but going the other way, like a fountain. That's the word I'm looking for. Fountain of energy. Um, and sometimes when you feel full up with energy, it can feel a bit uncomfortable, but this didn't, this didn't feel like that. It was that the cup was overflowing, but it wasn't, um, in any way, shape or form uncomfortable. It was quite, um, word, word, please. Um, blah. flowy. That's a word. It's not the word, but it's a word. Flowy. Um, got the same sensation when I'm floating. Ah, in the pool. Yes. Yes. Because there was definitely, I don't know if you guys got this, there was definitely a sense of I was not in my body. I was not. Do you know, and, and sometimes when I sit in you know this easy pose 
my feet, uh, one foot goes numb. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. And you can't feel it. And then the other foot goes numb. Then a bit like chunks of lead, you know, on the ends of your feet, on the ends of your legs. Uh, but sometimes it doesn't happen like that. This time, oh, there was nothing. There was absolutely nothing. <laughs> so I don't know if you got that, where you just were not in your body. You were completely lost to, you know, these, these energies that we pulled in. Quite amazing. Um, were any of you using instruments with me at the same time? I like to know these things. <laughs> I just think it's really good to share this stuff, yeah? Um, if anyone's got anything else that they'd like to share. Um, don't think there's anything else that I needed to say. So it's just, you know, if you want to share anything, I didn't get time to do it, to pull a card. I got completely lost in the ritual. Um, I could pull a moonology actually, as it's moon. Let me just grab a moonology card for you because my other one's all the way over there. Let's have a moonology card, shall we? Okie dokie. Let's see. What has the moon got in store for us? Ooh, what has the moon got in store for us? Let's have a look, shall we? What's that? We've got another comment. I wish this would scroll itself. I really do. Bongos and a shaker. Bongos. Love it. I've got a set of bongos on my wish list. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> I don't know if you can, uh, I can't read that. Let's get it in the right light. Ooh. Meditate and contemplate, that says, yeah. New moon in Pisces. Now, it's obviously not a new moon. And I don't know where the moon is at the moment. <sighs> That's the stillness. That's the stillness of the earth element. Uh, right. New moon in Pisces. Let me see what it says. 64. 64. Oh, my goodness. Use your feelings to guide your way. Mm. Which makes sense. Full moon. <laughs> uh, this card speaks of dreams and romance, of soulmates and poetry. I like that. It suggests there's a new start coming your way that's connected to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhat between having your head in the clouds and being in a totally altered state. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's a bit bonkers, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh my God, that's mad. There could be confusion and disappointment if that's what you've had before and that's what you've been expecting. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. However, if you're on to a good thing, then wish hard because I'm a little wish. <sighs> yeah, okay. Because the words of your soul, I was triggered by that word, um, and your heart could help bring about the manifestation of your dreams. Oh my fucking God. What have we just written on that bit of paper? Soul's desire, no less. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> oh, if all that sounds a little wet and watery, it's the moon. Then that's Pisces for you. Uh, so, other things about this card: face your fears; they may be holding you back. Uh, the situation is being healed. It's time to surrender to the divine. Chant Om Namo. Narayani. Or you could just do hummy hum brum hum because that connects you to the element of earth. Uh, avoid being deceptive or willingly deceived. Um, anything else? No, I think that's about it. That's interesting then. <laughs> I love these moonology cards. They are spot on every fucking time every time without fail so yeah there you go perfect 
That would have been really freaky, though, if it had been a full moon. <laughs> if I'd have pulled a full moon card, that would have been even more freaky. Freaky deaky. Okay, does anyone else have anything else that they would like to share about the ritual this evening? Anything else? Any more? Any other business? Any other business? Oh, itchy head. I'm just going to do a little couple of these for you. This is the grounding, by the way. Although we did do some drum, but this will ground you as well. Yeah. We did do the drum, though, didn't we? We did the drum. can't remember. <laughs> we drum and we sang, didn't we? Oh, that's right. Of course we did. <laughs> With the earth element. But it's nice, isn't it, to have some singing bowls. We love singing bowls. We love singing bowls. <laughs> okay, right. It's coming up on the quarter past the eight. So, witches, don't forget, we have our new, brand new witchcraft social media platform. You must go and have a look at, let me just put it in there, www.thepowerofwitchcraft.com. Let me sure I spelled it right. Yep. You must go and have a look at that and sign up because, well, for two reasons. It's a safe place for you to be your witchy self, yeah? Because um, I, I do know people who won't join witchcraft groups because uh, the people they work with or, you know, friends or whatever would see it and would give them a hard time, yeah? which is shit in this particular day and age, but that's the way it is, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, go and check that out. I've put the link there. Uh, if you're on Facebook or Pinterest, the link will be around somewhere. Yeah, the link will be there. Um, if you're watching this on the pathofwitchcraft.com, then the link will be... Uh, just click on this. Oh, no, you can't click on this video. Uh, yeah, you click on the video and it should take you there. Or I'll put the link underneath. It'll be there somewhere, okay? Um, and, you know, the, the other reason, you know, is, I don't know about you, but I'm fed up with Facebook telling me what I can and can't say, you know, who I can and can't say it to, um, and then be bombarded. Oh, by the way, a bit of news. You know that bombardment we were getting for the past, was it two weeks or something like that? We were being continually bombarded by Abrahamic religions trying to infiltrate this group. That slowed right down. Over the past two days, I think we got five requests. So it slowed right down. And it's, it's coming to a stop. Yeah. So that's, that's a fucking result. <laughs> um so, yeah, just, just let's, let's have a place where witches can come and they can express their witchy self and not feel like, you know, they're going to be attacked at any second, yeah? Let's do it, yeah? Well, it's done already because <laughs> it's there. Um, it's not a finished thing yet. It's being built as we, you know, as we add to it. Um, you know, and it's, it's your community. It's your witch community. So come along. Tell me what you want to see. The, you know, you can add photos, you can add videos. I've even set up a thing now where you can add soundtracks so you can create a playlist, whether that's for witchcraft or just for chilling, whatever. As long as it's not really crap pop music, please, because we don't want that shit on there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But, yes, I I have an opinion about crappy pop music because uh, it's it'll be 440 hertz anyway, so it'll suppress any emotions and stuff, yes? <laughs> Um, anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, and you can, you can add your own groups. There is a group already up there, which is for handcrafted items for sale. Um, so, you know, if there are any events in your local area, for example, real world, or if there's, you know, online events, you know, whack them in there. You know, we want to build this. Yeah. Cause what would be really cool. Yeah. Is if we could have a real world 
gathering of witches from that site. Wouldn't that be fucking amazing? <laughs> so, but in order for that to happen, you've got to get your witchy ass along to thepathofwitchcraft.com, sign up, and actually, you know, put some stuff up there, yeah? Um, and yes, I am excited. <laughs> And yes, I am driving this engine. <laughs> it is, Alexa. Facebook is, as far as I'm concerned, Facebook is a fucking dinosaur. It needs to either die or, you know, evolve itself already. Um, so, yeah, I mean, my my ultimate plan is to ditch face, Facebook altogether. Ditch, ditch it. So it will be phased out. Um, and it will be replaced with our, you know, with this social media platform that we've got going now. Um, and lives will be done via YouTube uh, until this social media platform gets the live streaming video thing going. Um, so, yeah, it's um, Facebook is definitely going the way of the dinos. Yeah, absolutely, Wendy. And it is, it, you know, we know where we want to get to with it. We're transitioning. We're moving towards it already. So, yeah, amazing, huh? <laughs> I am so fucking excited about this. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, get along to thepathofwitchcraft.com, sign up, and start putting stuff on this social media site, yeah? Like I say, I was saying earlier, I keep mine open all the time now because I forget it's there. It's like, oh no, oh no, I've got no, a new place to go. <laughs> so I hang out on our website doing stuff there, and I hang out on the on our new social media platform as well. And it's really, really cool. It's fucking cool. Um, I'm also going to shamelessly plug our advanced witchcraft course because that is also very cool. Uh, let me just go and grab that for you as well. If you're interested, da, da, da. what do I want? I want courses page. Um, what I'll do is I'll send you off to the landing page so you can find out about the Advanced Witchcraft course. What I will say um, is that that particular course is not for total beginners. Yeah, because we don't cover the basics in that. We go straight in. <laughs> we go straight into unraveling yourself. So if you're not if you don't even know what that means, then that course is not for you. You want to do the uh foundation course, yeah. Um there and there is a link to the foundation course on this landing page, okay? Um as part of the advanced witchcraft course, I think there's four spaces left to get a free soul realignment reading. Um, and as we all know, that is also freaking cool. <laughs> Serious soul level deep healing, yeah, going on with that stuff. Uh, it's not a spiritual gaffer tape at all. It is proper, like, let's get to the root of the crap that's going on, yeah, which has always been my thing ever since I was a kid. Um, so for me, it's perfect. <laughs> and I get to play psychic detective. So that's even more fantastic. <laughs> okay, people. So there's a couple of links there for you to go and have a look at. Uh, go along to thepathofwitchcraft.com. Sign up for our social media platform. It is free. It is free. And there will be no stupid advertising and crap like that on it. Yeah. Um, the only... I suppose the only way I would allow advertising is if it's you advertising your your wares, so to speak, yeah? So it would be people who are actually part of that community advertising, you know, something they are they are selling or an event maybe, yeah? That's the only way I would allow advertising on that site. The only way, okay? Because I'm not having it getting clogged up with shit like Facebook. Because <laughs> that's bollocks. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, there was something else I was going to say about that as well. I've forgotten what it was. Um, mm, uh, mm, advertising. Uh, oh, the other thing you'll notice is that there's no um, like, 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 
because I'll tell you why that is on our social media platform. On Facebook, the reason you've got all those different um, ways to respond to, some, to something that someone posts is Facebook ranks you then by what, what kind of response you get, yeah? We don't have that on our social media platform because there's no need for it because it's not about <laughs> ranking people. Because <laughs> that, that, that's not a community, is it? Now, come on. So in case you're wondering, well, where's the like button? There isn't one because there is no need for it, yeah? Um, I have put, just quickly before I go, I have put new content up there today um on the home page let me just get it up so i just know what i'm talking about <laughs> on the home page um i've moved things around a little bit um there's a new post actually which i'd like you to have a look at oh god that's really mad yeah the two <sighs> i created a group a couple of days ago yeah and it disappeared so i create, tried to create it again didn't have it and now it's reappeared as has my test post in forum. So it's, oh, God, blimey. I have to go in and edit that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, on the home page, there's a few new bits and pieces. Um, there's, uh, when you do your comments now, you can add photos or videos um, and links and HTML and stuff, uh, which Facebook don't let you do. Uh, you can't upload. Uh, oh, no, it's music, sorry. Facebook don't let you do. Um, yeah, so there's, and I've, I've changed the buttons a little bit, so it's a little bit more witchy. Um, under videos, there's Pagan Tunes, uh, and in there is where you can create a playlist or just add random tracks. It's up to you, yeah? Um, and then you can access them there. What else have I done today? Um, yeah, there, there is a post in the forum. If any of you know, I did also send out a, a message via the chat to see if anyone knew about um, spirit keeping. So if you know anything about spirit keeping, pop along to the forum. And if you could answer that question, because it's not something I know anything about. So anyone that knows anything about that, if you could come along, because that's the place to ask your questions. Yeah, that's the place to ask your questions. Fantastic. Right. I'm going to bugger off and have my dinner. Um, where's my diary? So tomorrow, tomorrow's a, a, a day off tomorrow. Woohoo! Um, oh, hang on. Where am I going? We're in March already. We're in March. Yes, we're in March. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, so Saturday, yes, uh, 3 p.m. Uh, we're doing our summer finding mixed with day of Heimdall. It's like a mini festival, really. <laughs> we're going to have fun anyway. With some drumming and chanting and having, a, yeah, it's going to be really good. We're going to, so I'm going to dig out some chants as well. Some, um, uh nordic chants they won't be complicated don't worry uh one of them is one that we did last year anyway um if you remember um i'm gonna go i will see you on saturday at 3 p.m here yeah in the path of witchcraft group i will send out a reminder um and next week i'm going to start experimenting with youtube lives so <laughs> we'll see how that goes <laughs> Peace and long life, live long and prosper, and blessings all. And thank you all for coming. <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs>